Welcome back to Sunrise. It is just about 915. It's no secret. Indy is home to a lot of great restaurants. So how do you choose? Well, our Julia Brooks got some help from a guy whose taste buds have tried just about all of it. Mike G is an indie food blogger with a special love for the local spots. So Julia and Mike stepped out to find some flavor. Their first stop, Pier 48 downtown. Check it out. So we're here at Pier 48. Mike, I've seen the pictures on your Instagram. Oh yeah. But explain why this lives up to the hype. So it lives up to the hype and the reason that we're here today is because Pier 48 is a place that people think about as a seafood only restaurant. But they not only get fresh seafood flown in every day, they also have, you know, Indiana favorites as well as some of the chef's favorites. So we're here to dig in and see what all of these menu items have to offer. Okay, so we're starting off with the lobster roll, which is a favorite here, right? Yep, it's their best seller. Um, the cool thing about the lobster roll is that the lobster is flown in fresh every day. Um, but in addition to that, you also have the bread that the chef makes in the kitchen every day. So he prepares hundreds of rolls every day. So I've actually never had a lobster roll. Okay. Um, but I hear this is like sometimes cold, hot, there's a difference. Do you have a recommendation on whether hot or cold is better? I like them hot, but some people like them cold. Some yeah. people like them with the mayo base, but this is just heavy butter. Mmm. Yeah, I've got to slow down on this one because I'm not going to have room for anything else. This is so good, though. Next up, we tried out this flatbread. It has golf shrimp, a pesto mm. sauce, as well as fresh mozzarella and fresh tomatoes. But remember, it's not all about the seafood here. So we are moving on from seafood for right now. Oh, yeah. What do we have right now? So now we are on to the pork tenderloin, the Indiana favorite. Cool thing about what Chef Ace does with the pork tenderloin is he brines it in buttermilk all night and then he has a flour that he uh, seasons really well before he puts it in the deep fryer. A lot of people use breadcrumbs, but he does it like a fried chicken. So okay. it's really like a pork tenderloin fried chicken batter kind of I'm salad. a southerner, I love fried chicken, okay. so I'm ready to get into this one. Let's do it. All right. So if you take a look at it, it's uh, super flaky, crispy, crunchy. Well, now that you're probably thinking about chicken, chicken salad's on the menu, too. And Mike G's favorite, these picture-perfect buffalo wings. Here's how they're made. He brines them for two hours, smokes them for three hours, cold smokes them for another hour before he deep fries them and then puts them in the sauce of your choice. So here we have the uh, buffalo sauce. And he, uh, chef being from Buffalo, New York, is the reason why this buffalo sauce sticks out a little bit and it's different than anything I've had in the past. So it's a work of art and not just because of the garnish exactly. on top. Okay, I'm ready to try it, are you? Yep. All right, let's do it. You can taste that smoky taste as mm -hmm. well as the, the buffalo sauce. Not too spicy, but has a little kick to it. A little it. bit of a kick. It's blue cheese. Yep, blue mm. cheese is actually in the buffalo ah, sauce as well. Okay. I was looking for the dipping sauce, but it's mixed in. Exactly. Okay. So we tried five dishes here. If you had to select just one out of the five dishes we just tried, which one would you say is your favorite? Oh, it's definitely the lobster roll. I'm okay. taking that one to go with me. <laughs> I think it just was had the, the warm roll for sure, and then the butter on top, just the icing on top of the cake. So the lobster roll for me for sure. Okay. I mean, it's their best seller for a reason, yeah. so that's a great choice. And so we only really scratched the surface here. I know it looks like we had a lot. I'm full, but we only scratched the surface here at Pier 48 and then also some of the other places that we're going to be trying. So you follow along with us here on Channel 13, but also make sure you're following along with Mike, too. Yeah, follow along with me at Where's Mike G on all social media. Uh, you'll be able to see some of the beautiful pictures that I took here today as well as other places around the city. So make sure you follow along with us here and on Instagram. Talk to you soon.